The violence has become more intense and is too often indiscriminate. All parties must do more to protect civilians. The humanitarian situation has worsened since I was here in March. Over a million people have been uprooted and face destitution. Perhaps a million more have urgent humanitarian needs due to the widening impact of the crisis on the economy and on people's livelihoods. Back in March, we estimated that a million people were in need of help. Now, as many as 2.5 million are in need of assistance, and we're working to update our plans and our funding requirements. Over the last two days, I have visited displaced people in Damascus and in Annabak. The families I met are tired, anxious, and many have no prospect of going home anytime soon. They have faced traumatic experiences and are now living in public buildings and in schools. Their needs for health care, for shelter, food, water, and sanitation are growing. I'm particularly concerned that the school year is due to start in September, while schools are being used as shelters for the displaced. Solutions need to be found to allow term to start as normally as possible. The United Nations and its partners are reaching more people with emergency aid every month, but we're only meeting some of the needs. It's not enough. Insecurity and restrictions are part of the problem. I continue to lobby the government to be more flexible in its approach to humanitarian operations. There's no reason why ordinary Syrians, men, women and children, should not receive as much help as is practically possible. I thank the donors who have supported our efforts so far and appeal to our international partners to contribute more generously.